Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another video today. So guys, you know what time it is. It is Friday, so that means welcome back to another episode of Funko Fridays, guys. Yo, this is actually episode number 25, guys. And yo, today's video, we are throwing it back. We're doing a little throwback. If you guys remember back to episode three, literally, <laughs> it was basically the start of the series and everything. And it was just like, honestly, it was just like the start of the whole pandemic before everything got locked down and everything actually it was probably when things were starting to get locked down and then we did our first ever actual like virtual hunt obviously guys i don't know tell me guys if you guys would want to see me do like irl hunts like going out in the wild picking up my pops i kind of don't really want to do that like i vlogged before and i i, I just want to buy my stuff when i want to buy my stuff i know a lot of people do it for funko pops but i don't know if i'll ever vlog the experience maybe at like a con one time but then I don't know i don't feel like i want to do that but um obviously virtual hunting is a lot better for me because it's easier right it's a lot easier and of course with the pandemic going on it was just like the start i believe it was episode number three we did our first ever virtual hunt and if you guys remember watching that episode you guys know exactly what pops are coming out here but we finally got them after what was that i think that was back in like march or february late february or early march and obviously a bunch of these were like pre-order stuff so i haven't got them uh, or they didn't have them in stock but finally they came in stock and it's just like wow it taken this long to get items in stock i know pop in the box they're usually they're, they're it, what's great about pop in the box guys if you ever used to pop in the box as a shipper or a buyer i should say not a shipper um they usually get the pre-orders like they get all the pre-orders and if you guys buy them you if you have patience you will get your pop guys like there's no doubt about it that's what i kind of like about it it's just like if you can wait an extra month you can go ahead and buy the pop and you can get the pop guaranteed right there's no sweating it's all online the only thing you're really sweating is if the postman doesn't like destroy your box which uh, honestly with me and how much stuff i buy now and uh, how much stuff i bought off pop in the box i've only had one bad experience with one box being destroyed but other than that it's been pretty solid they have their pretty good uh shipping everything comes in pretty good condition um and what also is pretty cool is that like they charge you a one-time flat fish uh shipping fee so if you have like if you order like five or ten items they only charge you like i think it's like five bucks for me in canada but that being said let's jump into this um let's jump into our first box right here um i actually opened this one i opened i opened a couple of these um but this one right here um i have to use the box for someone else but like i said guys one of my favorite anime or i won't even say uh, people fight over this but cartoon or anime series but of course nickelodeon you guys see them in the back which they've been restocking which is bad for value but it's all right but um this is the original uh just the common version of of course ang they did a reprint obviously since avatar the last airbender uh the netflix series came out in like basically the beginning of the pandemic too um it came out on netflix in the states it's been it's been huge uh the fandom got blown up again which was awesome to see um and they started reprinting more of these pops now of course um value wise it sucks that they go down a little bit because of the reprints but hey if you're a new fan or you want to get them uh you can still get them because they are doing the reprints like ang on air scooter um the i know a bunch of hot topics they did go ahead and restock my local hot topic did get a restock even of the chase um so yeah value has gone down even my core chase uh, she's not back here I, I i did a chase roulette she's down to like 55 dollars us which is kind of crazy ang was at at one point ang on air screw that chase right there you see in the back he was at 240 us dollars and i and right now he's tanked all the way down to 90 us so if, this is a great time to pick up the ang on air scooter glow in the dark glow in the dark chases are, are always the best and obviously if you do like avatar um it is a great pickup but yeah ang is probably my favorite character in the show um i know a lot of people like zuko and everything but yeah ang is my favorite and then of course you got katang with katara and ang bro that's like the squad goal i mean the race relationship goals all right guys so let's start going into um other things right here all right so yeah ang was one of them i think i say we go on to a single one and then we go into like some doubles the ones that i got doubles um it was basically um my dad collects too so i bought <laughs> bought him a pop as well inside of this um but yeah let's get on to the first one right here let me get my knife so these single ones the single ones i believe are football related so my madden fans this is gonna be great and of course both of them are no longer in this jersey 
that's how long ago we bought these um but yeah both of them are no longer in the jerseys and we started all off with the first one and that is my homie gronk spike bro i'm not gonna spike this pump obviously but yeah they did a reprint of this as well um this is number 56 of course there's another one where he's in the red color rush i this is my first gronk pop so i'm happy i hopefully make something for a tampa bay pop as well but uh definitely happy with this gronk right here um and this is technically Honestly, I don't even remember what their color rush is. The color rush sometimes is like the full blue navy like this. I can't remember if they're full jerseys. Um, because they have the all white ones too. And I don't white wouldn't white's not really a color rush. Only ones with a white color rush uh was the Bengals, wasn't it? When they had their helmets and all white jerseys. But um, but yeah, obviously Rob Gronkowski in the Patriots uniform. Um, I'm happy with it. Of course, he's technically my favorite player after Tom Brady, of course, because like Tom Brady's the GOAT. Um, but yeah, moving on to our second uh, single pop and our only other single pop in here. Um, let me go ahead and find the best way to open these up. So it would be slicing down the middle right here with the knife. Yes, we are surgical out here. You know what I'm saying, guys? All right, guys. So yeah, moving on to our second single pop right here. And I believe this is exactly the same uh rolls with the theme and everything and that is number two i gotta make sure i cover all my address and everything um but yeah that is the goat himself so we got tom brady um this these ones don't really go for it really too much i think both of them um okay so this one i don't i don't know uh, it's just a bunch of them um but this one is wave three includes includes a bunch of them yeah and honestly this is not too bad um i i think this is another reprint of course i don't really know the numbers the production date and everything like the uh, first one um but it just okay it's not too bad it's kind of weird dude look how they did his mouth it's like they painted that that's just that that, that looks a little weird that looks a little funky um, but obviously, yeah, we got Tom Brady. We got the dynamic duel right here. I feel bad for Edelman, of course. Um, seeing Tom Brady hook up with Rob Gronkowski now. What is it? Three weekends in a row? Um, we get a Gronk spike. Hopefully, I can continue against the um, against the Saints this week. We see another touchdown. Um, all right. And then let's get on to our last two pop figures right here. And these two are both. Now, of course, one is mine and one is my dad's. But we got another what, double. So I like them. Like, honestly pop in the box they do they do pretty well like the single ones the single ones come in these single sorters now of course guys if you are really picky about it you guys see I, when i open the boxes and stuff there is no bubble wrap or anything but honestly it does its job i guess my postal guy when he was doing his delivery he was having a good day right he wasn't having a good day he wasn't doing no ace ventura kicking the package around the box came in good shape the pops came in good shape right um and then of course if it is a dual they come literally in a bigger box but they are side by side now this one's a very exciting one um this was the one that took forever to go ahead and ship i don't know why it took forever to go ahead and ship but it was the last one of everything but that is of course very very nice looking pride batman so this is part of the um it gets better program i believe is what it's called i'll just take out one but yeah basically you guys see no bubble wrap or anything but the box comes good shape i don't know i like i said i only had one problem with pop in the box they're not sponsoring me or anything to tell you guys the shop at pop in the box obviously you spend the money where you you earned your money you spend the money where you want to um but definitely um i do I have bought from them in the past. So you guys kind of see that. Now, of course, guys, the glam shot of this Pride Batman right here, I feel like it was a little bit better. Now, there is a little dink right there if you guys can see on the box, but that's all right. That's I'm not, it's no big deal, right? Um, but that being said, guys, um, you guys can see him right here. It's kind of cool. Um, he is like the rainbow right there. It says Pride at the top here, um, and it also says Pride on the back. Um, but yeah, they also did a Hello Kitty and of course SpongeBob uh, for the It Gets Better program. But honestly, what really made me want to buy this one is Batman, right? But number uh, the second thing was it, it I, the the glam shot looked really translucent, so I thought it was gonna be like kind of see throughy, but a little bit it's not too see throughy. But I kind of I kind of allow it, you know what I'm saying? It's a very nice looking pop, regardless, um, and I, I like it. So yeah, there we go. We got the It Gets Better Pride Batman. Um, but yeah, that is that pop right there um, and all that stuff. So you guys kind of know what the last one is if you kind of watch that episode number three and this one is another double but it's the same one i bought twice uh like i said once for my dad as well but here we go i'm excited about this one they just uh they did a reprint on this one there is also a 10 inch version of this one but you guys can see who it is and it is joker 
from the Dark Knight. So it's Heath Ledger Joker. So it looks really, really sick. And you guys know I'm a big DC fan. We literally just picked up Batman a second ago. But there you guys go. You got yourself Heath Ledger Joker. Obviously, the big one in this set is the robber uh the joker robber that one goes that one's vaulted and everything this one's not vaulted but it's all right it's cool it's cool i'm happy i got my hands on this like i said they do restocks and reprints all the time on fungal pops and if you pop pop in box is a great place to shop um like i said not sponsored anything um uh, but hey pop in box you want to sponsor me you know my dms are always open <laughs> um but that being said guys uh, i really do like this pop itself um and then they yeah they do restocks all the time and sometimes pop in the box you can just pick them up so if you were a fan getting into funko pops now um and some of the older pops you couldn't get but they haven't been vaulted yet sometimes they do reprints always check out these types of websites it's super easy there's no hassle or anything you don't have to camp out um but I will mention that pop in a box, like I said, not sponsored, but I'm just giving you guys info. Um, that was, those are the pops we got from last time. Um, but yeah, pop in a box is actually doing a pop in a box con. And I know I'm definitely picking up one of their exclusives. And that is, I believe there's going to be a red hood from Batman. Um, so another Batman pop, it's, um, was it Jason Todd is under the red hood and he's going to have, they have an exclusive pop in a box under the red hood. I'll try to put a picture if I can find it online. I saw it, uh, someone on Twitter or something like that, but yeah, guys, those are our pickups for this. This week i uh, finally got the pops from like literally it does take a while like i said if you have patience it is great because you're guaranteed it i've never had them cancel the pre-order on me or anything like that um but yeah it does take a little bit of time i made i ordered these guys on episode three i believe a funko friday or episode two and now we're on episode 25 so 25 weeks later we finally have our pops and everything like that but yeah guys that's gonna end off this week's of funko friday um tell me guys if you guys picked up anything new or anything like that really want to say thank you guys so much for watching obviously stay tuned for next week um we have a lot of other stuff that we have i buy too much bro but thank you guys so much for watching always stay hype and i'll catch you guys soon peace What's up? Yeah.